Hey everybody, Doogie Hauser here, and this uh, algebra lesson, pre-algebra lesson, is on order of operations. You've all done this before, you just kind of probably forgot what to do on this. So, okay, uh, steps to order of operations. First, you evaluate inside any grouping symbols, inside any parentheses, you guys, or brackets. you got to take care of that first. Then you evaluate the powers or the exponents, if you have any of those. Okay, then, then you do the multiplying and dividing, and you always go from left to right. Okay, and then after that, the end, then you do any sub addition or subtraction. Okay, those are the steps. So here they are. Just put them at the top to remind her right here. So evaluate the expression. Here we go. So, um, so evaluate the expression inside any groupings. I don't see any parentheses here. Do I see any powers? Yes, I've got to take care of this 4 squared first. 4 squared is 4 times 4, which is 16. Okay, now I do uh, any multiplying and dividing from left to right. Well, there's some division right there, so I'm going to do 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay, and then I do any adding or subtracting coming from left to right. So I'm going to go 6 plus 4 first, which is 10, and then 10 plus 16 is 26. That's your answer. Okay, let's try this one. 24 divided by 4 minus 1. Is there any grouping symbols into any parentheses? Yes, I've got to do 4 minus 1 first which is 3. Okay, and then you can go ahead and do 24 divided by 3 is 8. See, you can do this. See? All right, how about this one here? Okay, inside of here I got to do the parentheses and inside the parentheses I have an exponent. I have to do this exponent first. So 5 squared is 25. Okay, and then I got to do 6 plus 25 is uh, 31 and then now I can go ahead and subtract 48 minus 31, 17. All right, let's try this one. Okay, I have some brackets. These are parentheses, and then I have these parentheses inside of these parentheses. So I got to deal with this two plus six first. Okay, so two plus six is eight. Okay, now inside of these brackets, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, 32 divided by eight, which is four, and then three times four is 12. Okay, how about this one? Okay, same same sort of thing here. I got to do the eight minus five first. Got to do the parentheses first. Eight minus five is is three. Okay, now inside of these parentheses, i got to do these exponents here. 3 squared is, is 9. And then 22 minus 9 is, uh, last time I checked, was uh, 13. So 4 times 13, 52. Okay, all right, so evaluate the expression for the given value. Almost done. All right, so 9x over 3 times parentheses x plus 2 when x equals 4. So I'm going to plug in x equals 4 wherever I see uh, an X. Okay, so there's an X there and there's an X there, so 4 goes into both those. Okay, now I got to deal with the parentheses first. Okay, there's nothing inside of there except 4, but I got to do 4 plus 2 now. 4 plus 2 is 6. Okay, now I'm going to multiply the 9 times 4 on top and the 3 times 6, because all I have is multiplying now. 9 times 4 is 36, 3 times 6 is 18. Now this is a division. Um, this is like a division. So a fraction is a division. 36 divided by 18. Last time I checked it was 2. Okay, let's try another one of these here. All right, 9x minus xy. Okay, so wherever I see an x, I'm going to plug a 5. Wherever I see a y, I'm going to plug a 7. Okay, so x goes in for 5 goes in for that x and that x, and then this 7 goes in right there. Okay, now i got to do multiplying from left to right. So I'm going to multiply 9 times 5 is 45. 5 times 7 is uh, 35. Now I can go ahead and subtract 45 minus 35 is 10. You can do this stuff. Good job, you guys.